All right, had a, a question from a viewer, and uh, I'm hoping this will help them and maybe help some other people too. Uh, I did a video on uh, phase lock loops, and uh, I was looking at this waveform. And uh, can I zoom in? Yeah, I can. So this is one clock, this is another clock, and then they go through an exclusive OR. And so an exclusive OR gate has, has two inputs and one output. So again, two inputs, one output. So, so there you go. Well, a lot of people don't have the luxury of having a, a four channel oscilloscope. So I'm using three out of four here, uh, but um, a lot of people only have two channel oscilloscopes. And they were wondering how they could get a, go about seeing, seeing this. And so um, let me see if I can't do this. I think, I think most uh, digital oscilloscope, they, they said that they had a digital oscilloscope, so I'm pretty sure they had this function. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and turn off channel two, okay? And so we don't, we don't have channel two. And so we can see this, all right? And then I could take channel one and I could move it over. Uh, let's see here, I'm getting in my own way. Um, and so that was the, uh, the other channel, but I want to see them both at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Mine has a button called reference and it says reference and channel one, and I can save to reference. Okay. <clears throat> then if I remove the, um, scope probe, um, it, it, uh, it remembers, it remembers that trace. And then if I go over to my other signal, um, then we will have, um, the wrong picture. So this is not going to work. So now we're going to have to trigger, figure out, uh, because we're triggering, uh, we need to figure out how to trigger on something that doesn't move. Okay. I was triggering on this and then I was triggering on this and it, it shifted the time, but we need to be at, at the same time. Now, uh, this one's not moving. So let's go ahead and see if we can't trigger on that. All right. So we'll go here to triggering and we will trigger on channel three and triggering on channel three is going to be difficult because sometimes it'll be high and sometimes it'll be low. And uh, so we will just have to get lucky. <laughs> um, and so once again, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to our reference and we're going to save to reference. And now we, we've saved this one. All right. And now we're going to go over to the other one. All right, and we are going to hit single. And did we do it? I th think we did it. So there you go. Um, now you, we, if we do it again, it might not be right. So see, there it's not. There it's not right. But here it's right. So anyway, um, and that's because this is a bit funny for the for the triggering. Um, but if you're persistent, I think you can probably use this trick. Um, so now we have, you know, input A, input B, and then the output, which is the exclusive or, which is, uh, if they're both high, it's low. If they're both uh, low, it's low. And then either one, right, can make it high, but uh, not both of them. So anyway, there's a trick. Uh, use your reference, try to, try to store one. Um, even some old analog sco scopes will have uh, a, a something like this. Um, so if you don't have any of those things um, and you have an analog oscilloscope and it doesn't have any storage information at all, um, you could do really, really old school. This is from, I don't know, 1950s, 1940s. <laughs> I don't know. what. Uh, everybody used to have a grease pencil. A grease pencil allows you to draw on glass and then erase it. And you could take this one and you could draw on the screen with a grease pencil, this trace, you could just draw it on there. Okay. And then, uh, move, move it down and then t 
take another one and you could draw that or you know you, you could you could draw as many as you want but that was like the really really old school way of doing things grease pencils were actually quite popular in um uh, spectrum analyzers where you wanted to normalize the trace and so you would take one normalized trace they the old uh, spectrum analyzers did not have a normalize button and so what you would do is you would do a, a straight through and it would have some type of shape and you would draw that on with a grease pencil and then when you actually measured a filter or something else then you could just go along and you you could measure the delta and and so you could say oh, okay here it's 10 db down here it's 20 db down here it's 10 db down it didn't it didn't matter as long as you visually could subtract the two um, so yeah grease pencils were the old technology uh, if you have a digital oscilloscope you probably have a reference function and uh, you can uh, you can do what i just did here and maybe that'll get you out of trouble someday and these days i don't I don't know if they still sell grease pencils. They might be hard to find, but you can use a, a dry erase marker, right? A dry erase marker would do the same thing. Uh, comment below if you've used a grease pencil.